This is more than just a race. This is the pinnacle of precision. And we're rolling. Prim with a slow start out of the gate, and it is speedy, breezing by from second into first place. The ultimate test of speed and strategy. It just goes to show you a momentary lapse can cause a huge swing in the race. One wrong move can be the difference between becoming history. We have a yellow flag and a major incident, a disaster here at the Razway. Oh, and look at this, Speedy is off the track and has jammed in the guide. Or becoming a legend. The Savage Speeders are Marbula One World Champions. The Crazy Cat Size in their inaugural season in Marbula One, Clementon and the O-Rangers. The Savage Speeders, they've done it. Let's get ready to roll. Through nine rounds, the best marble racers on the planet have battled with the singular goal of becoming Marbula One World Champions. Today, their fight culminates in the darkness of Midnight Bay, which hosts the final round of the season for the third time in this track's history. The situation is pretty clear on the individual championship. Only three marbles can win it, but only one is racing today. Cerulean trails first place Red Eye by 14 points. That means Cerulean must place fourth or higher to win it all. For the team championship, four teams are still in the hunt. Hazers will need to win with Misty and have some help with poor finishes by the other three teams. Snowballs are in the same boat with Snowstorm. The Green Ducks trail to Crazy Cat's Eyes by 19, so they'll need to win or finish second with a poor finish by the Cats. If the Crazy Cat's Eyes finish ninth or better, they're the champions, but they're starting in 14th today with Yellow Eye. <laughs> Yellow's Marble Runs is excited to announce the launch of our toy brand that has everything you need to run your own Yellow's Marble Race in the comfort of your home. Start off with our Collector Series Marbles, which includes 32 of our most popular teams. Or you can buy sets of 10 marbles, so you can have team races with one of our Skyway Chase Marble Run sets. Once you launch the marbles with our custom Skyway Starter Piece, the marbles will make their way down the track until a winner emerges. And to track their progress, you can use one of the five competition racing brackets we've included to bring your marble run to life and play Yella's Way. You will find everything you need to get started inside the box, including an instruction manual with building ideas, and you can download our free app that allows you to have your race announced by me, Greg Woods. You can also play Yella's Skyway Chase, like a traditional Marble Run 2. So come and join the Yella's Marble Run community, and let's race! Shop now on yellasmarbleruns.com. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Lights are on for the final time this season. And we're rolling! Razzie goes around the outside on an excellent start, but Misty gets by both of them and takes the lead through the first sector. Razzie goes through the same shell, and now they go over the split for the first time. This is where Marbles pick up the speed and start to enter some key portions of this track. Misty for the Hazers gets passed by Firo, who has climbed up the order. Three Marbles on one step as they come off the conveyor belt. Who's it going to be? And it's Snowstorm. Tries to look down the inside of Firo. Can't get it done. Cerulean is in the fight there for third and now fourth place. Again, that marble needs a good finish. Shock comes fifth. Razzie has fallen back to sixth. Swifty, Pinky Panther, Mallard for the Green Ducks is now up to eighth. Make that seventh. The Green Ducks have to continue marching upward. Misty covers the inside there. Snowstorm and Razzie will be on the same step. Fastest lap through the first salvo does go to Mallard, who gets sixth coming off the belt. Now in a bit of clean air and a great move there to get by Firo. Mallard for the Green Ducks. Wants to get in the mix early on. Misty, nice gap over Razzie and Cerulean, but now Cerulean hot on the tail of Razzie and gets by. Dives to the inside. That burst of speed in the third sector has given the Cobalt the lead. Cerulean, fourth or higher, that's what it's gonna take. Here are the uh, instant standings. Cerulean leads Red Eye. If it were to finish in this order, Snowstorm not letting the Cobalts get away. Lots of marbles bounding over that split. Very few are taking the curves as they are intended. 
Through lap number four, half a second lead for Cerulean over Snowstorm, Misty, Firo, Razzie, Mallard in sixth, Swifty, Quasar, Shock, and Pinky Panther rounding out the top 10. Yellow Eye has fallen to 12th for the Crazy Cat's Eyes. Cerulean losing that lead. Now it's a three marble battle. Snowstorm and Misty are both right in there. And then it's Firo. Nice recovery. Mallard still holds fast his lap down in seventh. Just under two tenths is the gap up front. Snowstorm trying to put a good first sector together and is now one length behind Cerulean. Cerulean goes to the inside and is able to carry enough speed. Goes to the outside on a defensive run. Misty waiting for the opportunity to present itself. Snowstorm hoping for a mistake from Cerulean. This is a marble that has finished in the top five every race this season. Cerulean off the curbs, a momentary lapse, and Snowstorm has gotten by. Misty is now also trying to pounce to take second place. Oh, that was a hard hit. I think the curb has come undone there. It just was a brief glance at it. Cerulean has recovered, but I think that curb has moved. And rather than there being an attenuator, it was just a blunt end. We'll have to see when the field comes by this time. Race control is going to have to be on it if that's the case. Cerulean over Misty. Yes, there you can see a bit of separation. It may not be bad enough to warrant a yellow flag at this point. Cerulean in a great battle with Misty. Back and forth they go. Look at this midfield fight. A new fastest lap goes to Westby for the home team. Yellow Eye is up to eighth now, and we do have a yellow flag. I wonder if this is because of the curve. Yes, it is getting worse. We can see Marble skipping over it. And the question is, how will they rectify it? Is this going to be a red flag if it gets to be untenable? Cerulean is the leader by a second. Misty. Behind Snowstorm, Mallard has come up into fourth. That's an incredible jump for the Green Ducks. We'll see if the yellow flag is enough to make these marbles carry a bit of caution through this sector. Oh, it's gotten worse, yes. That opening curve has now moved farther out, and we've got a red flag. Those marbles have been hitting that curve so hard going over it. Maybe that's the extra bit of intensity that comes with a final round of the championship. In the interest of safety, we are freezing the field. There you can see a time lapse of how it has moved out. Yeah, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. So, race control down there, and we will be restarting this from lap number 10. Midnight Wisps fans have seen their marble working up the order. Here is the new starting grid. Cerulean, Snowstorm, Misty, Mallard, and Quasar, Swifty, Razzy, Yellow Eye, Shock, and Wespy rounding out the top 10. Stinger, Pinky Panther, Rima, Nirid, Firo, Orange, and Yellop, Mimo, Disarray, and Lemon Lime. We're ready for the restart. Just four laps to go. And we're rolling again. A couple of marbles, I think, got a little antsy in the starting gate. There was some movement right beforehand. Cerulean covers the field through the opening turns, but Snowstorm is right there. That repaired curve now stuck back down where it's supposed to be. The field very bunched together. Misty is right there. Yellow Eye has had an incredible opening lap. Razzy goes from fifth up to third through the final turn. Where is everybody else shaking out? Mallard has fallen down the order. Westby has fallen down the order. As they currently run, Cerulean in third will be the individual champion in just a few laps. But there's so long to go in the team championship. I believe it's Crazy Cat's Eyes at this point. Yellow Eyes fallen back to seventh, now goes up to fifth. There is Cerulean, finally getting that speed back under that marble. Closing that gap, it is Snowstorm and Razzie out in front right now. A bit of a gap behind Cerulean, here comes Yellow Eye. It's a three marble battle, Rima's also in the fight. Yellow Eye goes to the inside. 
Carries a bit less speed, however, and Cerulean is able to close the door for now. A couple of laps remaining in the season. Snowstorm trying to get a win. The first since the opening round at Tumult Turnpike for that marble. The Snowballs are trying to win the championship. They're doing all that they can, but back behind them, they need some help from some teams to fall down the order, and it's not happening. Here's Yellow Eye getting by Cerulean. That is crucial. Cerulean has now fallen back to fifth. Lost momentum in that fight. Yellow Eye trying to hold off Stinger. As we come up the belt, Snowstorm exits and begins the final lap. Red Eye now two points ahead of Cerulean. Can Cerulean gain one more position? Needs to get by Stinger. Snowstorm up ahead. Razzy, Yellow Eye in third. Stinger, and then Cerulean. The gap is too big. Cerulean is not gonna make it. We're gonna have a double sweep by the Cats. Snowstorm will win at Midnight Bay, but it's the Crazy Cat size capturing the team and individual championships. Yellow Eye got fastest lap and nets 21 points and finishes in second place. Cerulean lost one more position by the end of that final lap and finished down in sixth, needed to be up in fourth or higher. What a race this was. You knew what was at stake. Marbles were fighting for their championship lives to bring it on home. Cerulean might have gone out a bit too early. The red flag also changed a bit, but we were able to freeze the order and restart where they were, but it was a four or five lap shootout at the end. And unfortunately for Cerulean and the Cobalts, they could not claim an individual title. The marble that could, however, was Red Eye, who had an incredible season. And we have a few highlights from what ended up being the third individual championship of Red Eye's career. Red Eye, for the final time through the accelerator, needs to get this section perfect and seemingly does. Red Eye will come from behind and win the Grand Prix over Snowy and Clementon. Red Eye, our winner back at the Electron Expressway, finished fourth at the O-Raceway. Trying to bring it home here, the Crazy Cat Size will win at Sakura Garden. Different lines out of the exit. Red Eye takes the lead down the backstretch and will capture pole once again. Red Eye, our individual champion, stands atop the podium next to Cerulean, our runner-up, and Snowy, third place for season five here in Marbula One. Consistency has been key. And by just four points, Red Eye is once again the individual champion. There you see the finishing order for everyone. Only Arrow did not score on this season. That is a rarity, however. Looking at the team championship, it too belongs to the Cats. Congratulations, Crazy Cat Size. Snowballs are our runners up this season. Hazers can celebrate on the third step of the podium as well. And so, the final standings, a 20-point margin from first to second. We thank you all for joining us for this season of Marbula One. For Yellow's Marble Runs, I'm Greg Woods. So long, everyone. <laughs>